Hey guys, thank you for watching a new video from I'm um, Okay. I hope you're having a good weekend so far. We're gonna watch a fun video. Uh, this one came out a few months ago from Learning to Be Fearless. It's the notorious What I Ate in a Day, the realistic What I Ate in a Day video. So sit back and enjoy while we watch this together. If this is your first time watching this video, you're in for a fun little doozy. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because this is something I've actually been really behind the scenes passionate about. Hey guys, so we're just going to go ahead and go over a couple of things about the original video. It was uploaded on February 27th of this past year. has a total of 55,000 views on it. And all of the comments have been turned off as well as all of the like and dislike ratios. So definitely um, there was some negative feedback on this video and we'll kind of go over that later on as we watch it together the last few months so I have gotten back into working out I am back in like a good healthy mindset I am back so this is pretty impressive talk here guys because it's been like almost six months so if this is in fact a realistic what i eat in a day video in six months alex should drastically look a lot different than she does in this past video um which hmm it's not really i mean she does look different but not in the direction that she was hoping for so yeah i'm a little bit confused into eating more nutritiously. I'm always transparent on my channel about how my mental health, when I am anxious or stressed, I definitely tend to stress eat. It's just who I am. It's something I've always struggled with uh, and I've always shared that with you. And this is facts. Um, I do think there are times where she is honest. But I think there's also an equal amount of times where she can be a little deceiving on her information to fans. And yeah, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. Um, for some reason, I just didn't wanna eat right away this morning. I think it's pretty impressive, or I'm not sure what time of day it is in the morning that she went ahead and did her hair full face makeup, got dressed and everything before she even had her morning breakfast. I don't know. Like we've all seen her vlogs and everything and she never looks like this in the mornings. So I don't know what time of day this was filmed, but I'm having a hard time believing it was like first thing in the morning. For breakfast, I pretty much every day have a smoothie. So usually I will either do my tropical fruit medley and spinach, and then I will add in like half milk and half water, about a cup in total. And it's just that simple. Like it's really easy to make. It tastes really good. You're getting fruit, veggies. I would say everything here looks pretty normal and generic. For making a smoothie so good for her for uh, making this for her breakfast that morning but I don't believe this is her breakfast every morning speaking of veggies that's one thing we hardly ever see Alex haul in her grocery haul um, I can't even remember the last time she highlighted vegetables in a haul. So, just thought I would point that out. out on a limb and say that first taste was not really pleasant for Alex um I don't think she's been drinking these every morning um she just does not look like she's really enjoying it 
but pretending to for the camera. It's so funny because it's green, but it literally just tastes like a peanut butter banana smoothie. If you don't mind kale. I'm pretty sure she's let it be known that she is not a fan of kale. You can add kale too. Not just finished, but. She looks more and more nauseous every time she takes a sip. It's really good and it keeps me full for a really long time because it has so much protein in there, so. That's pretty much right. Never broke. Oh my gosh, her face. She is so done with this drink. It's like every morning, one of those smooth. Moving along, we're going to go ahead and fast forward to lunch. I love, like on days where I'm super busy, I love. I'm sorry, she said super busy. <laughs> to get food. Grab hub for lunch. So I made my own bowl today. I love Protein House. It must be somewhere he likes to eat because I've never heard her mention this place before. They have so many different like bases you can get. Brown rice, sweet potato, quinoa, or like a salad. I don't like salad. Of course you don't. So this is one of my favorite bowls to get. It is brown rice with teriyaki, salmon, and broccoli. Broccoli? Oh my gosh. I totally forgot that she had a broccoli in this lunch. Um, so we're going to see her react to eating vegetables. And it's just really, really good. I love bowls. Like any sort of bowl is just one of my favorites. And they make their salmon really, really, really good. So... It could just be me, but I feel like she's really trying to psych herself into eating this lunch and enjoying it for the camera. Just the way that she keeps saying how really, really good it is. Usually I'll get this there. Oh, it's giving to the salmon. Mm. I don't know. Broken. Makes me feel good. Keeps me full. She is not a very good actress. I do not believe she is enjoying this lunch. Not one bit. She looks so done with it. She only took the first couple of bites. Um, I don't think this is something she's ordered before. Um, she may have just ordered it because um, her fiancé maybe recommended it. But you could just definitely tell she's just like, mm, nah. So... I'm gonna eat my lunch. Alex looks so annoyed eating this lunch. Uh, she generally looks pissed. I'm also bummed because they forgot my sauce. I usually put sauce on top and it's like, oh, amazing. She seems extremely annoyed and just having a really bad day during the filming of this video. And I don't know why, um, then why film it, but I want to say, I tried watching this clip a couple of times because she starts out saying, I'm also annoyed about my sauce, um, not having her sauce, but I'm not exactly sure what else she was annoyed about. I think she edited that part out, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, but clearly she's pissed. We forgot it, which is a bummer, but it's still good. Mm. It's not like she doesn't have ranch dressing in the fridge. She puts ranch on everything. So, mm, such a big baby. I pretty much cook dinner every night. Um, I love to cook. We've only heard her say this a million times. And the only thing that we've seen her cook is chili. So, I think tonight I'm going to make turkey chili. Turkey chili is one of my favorite things to make. Yarman and I are obsessed with it. Oof, spoke too soon. It's more goddamn chili for dinner tonight. So it's about the time of day where I get hungry, so I'm gonna just have a little Baby Bell cheese. I love cheese for a little midday snack. I think we all can agree Alex probably has the whole bag of cheese on her desk. I don't see her just eating one. I'm feeling a bit hungry. Please pay attention to the following snacks that she says she eats uh, when she feels hungry in between meals because I have never seen her snack on any of these things um, in any of her videos. 
We'll also make like zucchini chips or um, kale chips where I just sprinkle them in the oven with olive oil, salt, and pepper. She's been looking forward to this cheese all day. Just enough. That just seems like an excessive amount of cooking oil. To coat the pan, since the ground turkey has no fat, you're gonna need that. I don't know about you guys watching, um, but when you watch cooking videos, but for me, if I see someone cooking in like a nice blouse or a white shirt, it makes me so nervous because I feel like they're just going to get stains or splatter of food or whatever um, on their clothing. And it always seems like whenever she does a cooking video, she's always wearing like a white shirt. And I don't know why that is, but it just, it makes me nervous watching it. Well, I'm going to get my onions chops while that's heating up i'm not a big onion person but i like the flavor in this so i essentially just cut them really really trigger warning on the onion cutting i remember the first viewing of this video a lot of people um were triggered <laughs> so if you're gonna be triggered about it please know she cuts it extremely weird thin and small and diced so that it's more of like a flavor thing. And you can't really taste them when they're super small because they get really soft and they just kind of blend in. So if you're not a big onion person, I would try doing it like that because you can't taste them, but it adds really nice flavor. So I'm gonna dice these up and then throw them in to cook with the ground beef so that flavor is nice and popping. Not the ground beef, the ground turkey. You can use ground beef as well, of course. Um, I've just been using a lot. It's so funny because Amber Lynn does the same thing when she shows uh, cooking her soups and everything. Um, the ingredients are like super basic and Alex is just doing the same thing. And I don't know what she's going on and on about about this meal, but it's just a lot of filler talk and no one cares. Turkey lately just gets a little healthier and Yar is trying to eat less red meat, so I'm just going to break this up and brown it i don't know why she's beating that pan with that utensil um i have no idea why she's even using that utensil for this but she loves to cook and cook the onions there were so many people that were commenting um saying she was scraping her pot and she was going to ruin it and I'm pretty sure she got aggravated with all those comments because she's like, you know, it's my kitchen. I'm going to do what I want to do type of attitude because, you know, Alex always knows best. To soften as well. And I'm also going to add the salt and pepper now. This is a really lean turkey. You're going to want to season it really well so the flavor is still there. This will usually make enough for me to have dinner with Yar and then enough for both of us the next day because it's pretty start off with garlic powder. It seems like a lot, but trust me, I've done this so many times. I used to not use enough, and then I'd have to add so much more. I'm going to add some cumin. You don't need too much of the cumin. She just layers so much stuff on this chili. Oh, I can't imagine how it tastes. Now, chili powder. I'll add in two bay leaves. <laughs> While it's simmering, just give it a good stir. And then usually I'll like taste it. Grab a little piece of meat or a bean and like see how the flavor is. Add more of what I need to, but if you're new with like seasoning, you can definitely look up a recipe. All right, so now I'm just letting it start to simmer on a medium temperature. I'm gonna lower the temp a little bit now that it's hot. So this chili, if you're not a, a viewer, like a regular viewer on her channel, she makes this chili literally every couple of days to every week um, for months. So this back in February, um, I mean, this is something that they eat all the time. Um, so it's no wonder she's not losing the weight. I mean, this is 
not the healthiest meal to eat on a regular basis. And just let, let it all, let it all get in there, that flavor. The sooner you can make this in the day, the better, because like all those spices and the bay leaves get in and it just like makes it super flavorful like this is even better the next day so it's great to make a big batch and have the leftovers and then i'm gonna top it with like a little sour cream when i do eat it but so good i'm gonna turn this down now just let it sit i think it's no shock that when it's dinner time and it's a meal that she is accustomed to making and enjoys that her mood has completely changed from earlier in the day. She's like, she's no longer hangry, you know what I mean? Um, so this plate here, I mean, this looks like a decent amount of food for dinner. Um, I don't know if this is her plate, I can guarantee she ate like another serving with it. I don't believe for one second Alex only had that one little piece of bread um, on the side. I think she probably had a little bit more than that. Um, and this could also just be the plate of her fiance's as well. But I just don't think she just ate that little bit for dinner by itself considering also how her breakfast and her lunch she just did not seem to enjoy at all and she just seemed more hangrier as the day progressed and this is dinner and some cornbread yum so what i want to focus on is just a lot of people had an issue with this video because it was not a realistic what I eat in the day video and I think people just get really annoyed and aggravated with uh, YouTube influencers who just do it up for the camera for clicks um, like this video would totally have been okay if she was just like you know this was the video or a goals of what I would like to eat in a day or this was me on a good day then I think a lot of people would have respected that and given, you know, her honesty would have given a thumbs up and like, keep going and you're doing awesome. But the way that this video portrayed was this is how she eats every single day and it just was not honest and it came across as ingenuine. And a lot of people pick that up. So if it was honest, then my question is like, why does she disable comments, likes, and dislikes? And she could have done like a follow-up video too on it. Like, hey guys, like you've really hurt my feelings. Like, this is my typical day. If you have a problem with that, that's your problem, not my problem. You know, something, but she didn't. And her video um, is concluded with a sliced orange randomly at the end without any um, anything about it. <laughs> so we assume that was her, perhaps her dessert after dinner or before bed. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts on this one here. And if you have any recommendations for future videos, I am totally open to that as well. So until next time, I appreciate you guys watching. Bye.